Puff and Usher did have a situation. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. I wasn't really surprised. It seems like some new disturbing claims regarding Usher's relationship with the hip hop mogul has recently surfaced. And guess who was shocked then more anyone else? Usher's mom who had no idea her child has been treated in such a horrible way. So the fresh trauma just hit the fan with Diddy and Usher and insiders spill that Usher's mom, Jonetta Patton, is not having it anymore. She's had enough of those rumors swirling around and looks like she's finally ready to spill the truth about her son's time at Puffy Flavor Camp. So remember when Usher crashed at Puffy's place? Who knew what was happening there? Apparently not Jonetta, but she's eager to take the matters in her hands now. Well, whatever and however you handled that situation, it's yours. And get this, after Janetta found out about Usher's Flavor Camp adventures and his hospital stint, because of Diddy, she announced that she wanted to sue the music mogul as well. So picture this, Usher, the RB sensation, finds himself in the middle of a whirlwind of controversy, all thanks to his ties with none other than the disgraced music mogul, Diddy. But let's rewind a bit and set the scene. It all started when Usher made the strategic decision to crash at Puffy's couch for a year. Now, some might call it a purely business move, but little did Usher's mom, Janetta Patton, know about the storm that was about to brew when she was sending her teenage son to New York. Fast forward to today, and Janetta's now facing the horrors of the drama surrounding her son. It looks like one of the wildest parties that Usher attended back then landed him on a hospital bed. You know, and a lot of more people know, didn't do you right when you was at Diddy Camp. Well, Jonetta wanted to set the record straight about that episode and add protective mother. She even considers to take legal action against the music mogul. And it all looks quite bad for Usher because his once unstained name has been dragged into yet another scandal, this time courtesy of a lawsuit filed by none other than Lil Rod against Diddy. Although Usher's name wasn't explicitly mentioned, it's pretty clear who they're talking about. Check this out. Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in intimate intercourse with singer Six Redacted, while Six performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. Now, if this doesn't scream like Usher name to you, well, his mom is of another opinion. And let me tell you, she's beyond shocked to have discovered the rumor that Diddy was boasting to Lil Rod about his exploits with not one, but two heavyweights in the industry. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and... I mean, damn, pause, but... Jonetta doesn't want to leave this matter alone. She's not about to sit back quietly and let her son take the fall for Diddy's antics. Word on the street is she's pointing fingers at Diddy for Usher's hospital stint, and she's not ruling out the possibility of legal action. Apparently, she wants to back up claims about the music mogul secretly mistreating his artists behind the closed doors. As the woman now claims, she had no clue about what was really going on behind closed doors. Well, she claims she did her homework before handing Usher over to Diddy, and the coast was clear. However, what Usher told in his interview probably didn't correspond to his mom's expectations of business mentoring. No, I, I, I don't say I can't believe it. She trusted Diddy as a mentor, but as we already found out, thanks to multiple lawsuits against the music mogul, something sinister went down in those New York penthouses. And here's the thing, as Usher mom says now, when her son was desperate to find a mentor because of changing voice, Diddy swooped in and promised to take us her under his wing. As Reeb Starr himself said, I got a chance to see some things. I went there to see the lifestyle and I saw it. Jonetta, trusting Diddy like a mentor figure, handed Usher over, but little did she know, she was setting him up for a world of trouble. According to the grapevine, Diddy took full advantage of Usher's vulnerability. Sources even claim that Diddy was the one who flipped Usher's image, not because Usher wanted to, but because Diddy saw an opportunity to mold him into what he wanted. Taught him and everything, you know what I'm saying, about the business. And while Usher remains suspiciously silent about his flavor camp days, the skeletons in his closet started rattling. Well, first, he was partying hard with adult celebs since he was 14. Then, Insiders claims there was a wild night when Usher ended up at a men only club after hitting up some Broadway shows. Word on the street is Puffy was the one to introduce the young star to this kind of lifestyle unbeknownst to his mom. Now, as the footage from that night suggests, Usher seemed pretty cozy surrounded by half-naked men chatting up some dude. No wonder he was reluctant to share his experience of that time. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's going to In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? But these stories are only the tip of the iceberg, and it seems like Usher's traumatic past will soon catch up with him. Many netizens blame not only Diddy, but Usher's mom as well for neglecting her child's safety. As one person commented, she sacrificed him. She is to blame too. I would never leave my children alone with strangers. And another user added, it's the fact that everyone wants money. Diddy gave her money to go away, and she took it like so many who have sold their children. But folks, if you think that a lifestyle like this went without consequences, here's the proof that the story took a wild turn for Usher years after when it alleged that three people caught a nasty ski after their intimate intercourse, the rascal. 
Lawsuits against Usher were flying left and right, with claims of the singer putting people's health at risk. He is not saying whether he does or doesn't have it, but he could have he could have ended this whole thing. Now, that's a messy situation no one expected. And the most interesting part of that is the accusers weren't merely women. There's the mysterious John Doe who claimed to spend a steamy night with Usher at a spa in line and in an unpleasant surprise. Rumor has it Usher shelled out $1 million to sweep these lawsuits under the rug. Some even speculate that this alleged diagnosis is what landed Usher in the hospital and then transmitted to other people, all thanks to Diddy. And it was this incident that reportedly pushed Janetta to consider legal action many years after. If you remember, Usher himself claimed his parents had no clue about the chaos at Diddy's flavor camp. <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. So, apparently, Usher's mom went straight to Diddy when she caught wind of what was going down and threatened to sue him for ruining her son. But here's where it gets murky. That mysterious lawsuit was never filed, and the whole story of Usher being sick and treating his stee in the hospital was hushed. Back then, when the singer was hinting at the potential mistreatment and his mom staying silent on everything his son had endured behind the doors of the infamous Puffy Flavor Camp, no one raised any suspicions. But now, with many controversies surrounding both Diddy and his former protege, Jonetta finally feels compelled to spill the beans, probably to protect her son for legal consequences. And speaking of her alleged lawsuit, Diddy ex-bodyguard Gene Deal has confirmed that Usher did end up in the hospital, courtesy of some shady situation. But you said that uh, it was a situation where Diddy sent him to the hospital? Let Usher. Now, here's where it gets messy. Janetta is done being scared of Diddy's threats, and she's about to spill some serious tea, claiming Usher had been horribly mistreated when living at Diddy's. According to her, Usher told her exactly what Diddy did to him back in the day. But I know what you may think, folks. If she knew all this, why didn't he speak up sooner, right? It's got me wondering if she was just turning a blind eye, or if he was just turning a blind eye, or if he was also approached by Diddy with Enda. You see Usher's been dropping hints here and there. He's hinted that the stuff he saw at Diddy's camp was out of this world, and he's vowed never to let his own kid anywhere near that chaos. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> He's even teased that he might spill all the details in a future book. But we all know what happens with those daring to announce their tell-alls, like poor Kim Porter. But Diddy doesn't have the same power as in the past. Probably, that's why Janetta is so eager to finally get her revenge and sue this man for what he did to her son. Apparently, Usher's name being dragged through the mud became the last drop for her, and many people anticipate it's going to be the final nail in Diddy's coffin. As one person commented, it is time for Usher to come clean and testify in court. And another user added, I remember Usher fired his mom as his manager back in the day. Now I wonder if the past incidents with Diddy had something to do with that. Well, it's quite a messy story, and as always, there are no questions than answers here. One thing's for sure, Usher mom is now joining the others who want to sue the disgraced music mogul. But folks, what do you think about all this? Was she too scared of Diddy in the past to do anything against him? And how is it possible that she didn't know what was happening until her son ended up in the hospital? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos.